When you think about dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus, Velociraptor, and Triceratops, the first image that come to mind might be the versions of these dinosaurs as portrayed in the movie Jurassic Park. The truth is, these dinosaurs actually looked much different in real life than they did in the movie's portrayal. Tyrannosaurus was much bulkier and covered in fine hairs. Triceratops looked pretty similar, except its horns were much shorter and straighter. Velociraptor was only two feet tall and it was covered in feathers. That's right, feathers. The truth is, most carnivorous dinosaurs and even a few herbivores were covered in feathers. For more than 200 years, the general view of dinosaurs was that they were slow, sluggish, scaly reptiles. Some pioneering scientists began to challenge this paradigm, such as John Ostrom, who discovered Deinonychus anteropus in 1964 and proposed a theory that it was warm-blooded, John McLolan, an, an illustrator whose 1979 book depicted dinosaurs as feathered and warm-blooded, and Robert Backer, who famously described Tyrannosaurus rex in the 1980s as a 20,000-pound roadrunner from hell. These ideas were very controversial at the time, but since the first discovery of dinosaur fossils with feather imprints in 1983, and through other similar discoveries in China since, as well as re-examination and reinterpretation of the existing data, the general view today is that most dinosaurs were covered in feathers, much like large eagles. When the first dinosaur fossil was discovered in the mid-1700s, many people thought that they were dragon bones. This was determined not to actually be true, and a new group of animals was created called dinosaurs, which means terrible lizard. Even after a dinosaur was classified as a new kind of animal, they are portrayed as slow, sluggish, and lizard-like with scales. They were also believed to be cold-blooded, which meant that they would have had to lie around most of the day, warming their bodies in the sun, much like an iguana, iguana or crocodile. Even when the fossils were discovered that had bird-like features, such as feather insertion points, these were overlooked or ignored because of the existing sluggish lizard paradigm. This paradigm influenced how dinosaur fossils were assembled together into complete skeletons for display, upright with tails and bellies dragging on the ground. In 1983, the first fossils with clear and direct evidence of feathers were discovered in the Liaoning province of China. Since then, hundreds of discoveries, mostly in China, have reinforced this idea. A Chinese farmer discovered a fossil in 2000, which scientists studied and determined it was covered in down. These remains were identified as belonging to a dromaeosaur, which is related to another well-known dinosaur, the Velociraptor. The scientists believed that the down was evidence it was covered in feathers and that they had physical proof of the link between dinosaurs and birds. Not everyone was convinced though. Ornithologist Storrs Olsen was certain that there were no feathers on the beast. In 2003, Chinese scientists described fossils of a new species they named Microraptor gui. It had four wings and asymmetrical feathers like those of a modern bird. The team suggested that these feathers would have allowed it to glide through the air. It hasn't only been new fossil discoveries that have furthered this theory of feathered dinosaurs. In 2007, Alan Turner and his team re-examined Velociraptor fossils that had been discovered in 1998. They found features not found on other Velociraptor specimens, a series of bumps which resemble quill knobs on modern birds. Quill knobs are where ligaments connect the major flight feathers of the wing to the bone. Even a well-known dinosaur like Velociraptor can still have some surprises. In 2011, in Canada's most famous amber deposit near Grassy Lake in southwestern Alberta, a research team discovered a wide range of amberized feathers, which preserves microscopic detail and even their color. Even though no dinosaur fossils were found nearby, they were compared to fossilized dinosaur feathers found in rock and were found to be very similar. In 2012, a new dinosaur was discovered in China. This dinosaur, Euteranus wally, was a close relative of Tyrannosaurus rex, but was found with feather imprints surrounding it, unlike T-Rex. This discovery had rocked the scientific community again because Tyrannosaurids had never been perceived as feathered at the time. A study in 2017 took a close look at the feathers of Anchiornis, which is a four-winged bird-like species. Scientists were able to develop a fairly good idea of the coloring of Anchiornis' feathers because the melanin pigment in feathers fossilizes very well. Current scientists continue to advance this theory of feathered dinosaurs through additional discoveries and re-examination and reinterpretation of existing fossils. These discoveries and advancements have helped shape much of the way dinosaurs are currently perceived, as well as their popularity. We have learned more about dinosaurs in the last 25 years than we did in the 200 years prior. 
This change has even penetrated into pop culture. Many video games, movies, and TV shows are now representing dinosaurs in a much more accurate way. For example, the video game Ark Survival Evolved portrays some of its dinosaurs fully feathered with proper shaping and behavior. In the most well-known dinosaur franchise in popular culture, Jurassic World, the most recent movie, Jurassic World Dominion, shows the feathered seven, seven species of dinosaurs all covered in feathers. I'm sure you have heard this of the popular saying, we can't understand our present until we understand our past. This is in some ways true for dinosaurs as well. When we look at dinosaurs, we can find the evolutionary linkage between them and birds. This helps us understand the origin of modern birds, as well as how they relate to one another. Although there have been opposing viewpoints and detractors to the idea of feathered dinosaurs, there is growing evidence to support this rethinking of what dinosaurs looked like and how they behaved. I hope you are as excited as I am to watch these theories continue to develop based on new discoveries and reinterpretation of old ones.